Hello everyone, welcome to Fancy with Bella. So about a week and a half ago, HuffPost contacted me and they wanted to know what it's like to be married to a stripper. So my husband and I sat down together and answered some questions. And as we were answering some questions, I actually came across one of the questions that really stood out. It kind of made me think and I figured it would be a good idea for a video because I know there's a lot of people out there who have a lot of misconceptions about the stripper industry and I want to kind of clear those out today like I said these are just my opinions these aren't facts <laughs> other dancers might have a different opinion or might see the stripper industry differently but like I said this is just my opinion okay so again the question is what's the biggest misconception about your line of work so what I wrote down was that the biggest misconception about my line of work is that it's an easy job with easy money but it's really not. There's so much that goes into being a stripper and although there's girls every day who come into strip clubs to, for auditions, not a lot of them are able to do it. Um, it's physically and mentally draining. Dancing in six inch heels for hours straight at times and always having to be in your best mood can be a challenge. Working in the average club isn't what you see on TV or movies where people are making it rain all the time and bills flying everywhere. Another big misconception is that physical attributes and dancing skills are everything. That couldn't be farther from the truth. They're important skills to have, but personality matters above all. Okay, so basically that's what I wrote for the biggest misconception. And honestly, I feel like it is a big misconception. There's so many people that think that just by going on stage, you're going to get rained on. You know what I mean? It doesn't work that way. Yeah, if you're lucky, you might get rained on and people will throw bills at you and stuff. But it doesn't happen all the time and it doesn't happen every day. And this is where it kind of gets a little tricky here because... There are clubs where girls make their money on stage and that's basically how they make their money. But most of the clubs I've personally been to, you have to work your ass off. Just by going on stage isn't going to get you money. You have to get up and go talk to these customers and you got to put yourself out there and entertain the people who are coming in. So there's more skills that are entitled into the stripper industry rather than just going on stage and getting a lot of money. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that there's not any clubs where you can actually go up on stage and make a lot of money. But I'm just saying that in the average club and the clubs I've been to, you don't see money flying everywhere. Just like you see on music videos or TV or movies or stuff, you know, like it doesn't happen that way. So definitely not easy money at all. There's so many skills that go into being a stripper that maybe, yeah, once you get the skills on point, you have a plan for work and stuff, you might actually make more money easier, but you still have to put work in. You know what I mean? It's not easy money and it's not an easy job. Like I said, you do have to wear six inch heels the whole shift. Yeah, and you are sitting down here talking to the customers and stuff, but you know, like all the physical activity we do is a lot. Sometimes we do dance for hours straight and our feet, everything hurts. And I think I've said this so many times already. Like we get bruises, like our knees get so bad when we do floor work and you know, we're on our knees all the time. Like it like messes shit up. The six inch heels that we are required to wear, they're a lot more comfortable than regular heels. Like I told you guys, I hate wearing regular heels. I actually don't know how to walk in them. Yeah, they're a little bit more comfortable, but it's still a pain to be walking on them your whole shift. It's physically draining. And I say it's mentally draining because we have to be on our best mood all the time. If you guys are dancers, I don't know if you guys have noticed that every time you're in a bad mood, sometimes work doesn't go right. You know, you don't make the money you want, you know, like you're in a bad mood and like it just drains everything. You know what I mean? That's basically our job is to always be 100% in the best mood and to be in the best mood all the time is a challenge for real sometimes i'm going through things you know what and it's hard to come out of that but we have to do it because we're entertainers we have to entertain these customers that go in and we have to make their day and we have to make it exciting and fun and everything because if not then we're not going to make the money that we want to make so um yeah it's pretty challenging communication skills dancing skills um there's so much that goes into it like I said, everyone's different, you know? Not everyone knows how to dance. Not everyone knows how to communicate. Not everyone knows how to climb a pole, you know, like, or shake their ass. <laughs> I don't know how to twerk at all, guys. I wish I could shake my ass, but yeah, I can't. <laughs> 
so yeah like it's not easy money and it's not an easy job that's basically the biggest misconception I feel like there is you know and also I feel like another misconception is that looks are everything and looks aren't everything yeah I have fucked up teeth and I hear that a lot from you guys it's like you guys think that I don't know that my teeth are fucked up I don't give a fuck you know I've lived with them my whole whole life and my confidence doesn't come from my teeth it comes from the inside and I feel like I have so much confidence so the people that talk about my teeth and stuff like fuck it you know what I'm still making money <laughs> there's girls who do get surgery they get a boob job they get Botox they get all this stuff but you're not required to have Botox or surgery or anything yeah maybe like in Vegas or the high-end clubs you know you want to Fit in and you maybe want to look more high-end and more expensive and stuff but you know not all clubs are like that at all looks are very important because we do work in an industry where we do have to look good but looks aren't everything I'm not the most beautiful woman I'm not the prettiest or anything you know and that's okay but it's about the confidence make sure you do your makeup make sure you do your hair you know try to look your best but that's not gonna get you money you know like people think that if you just stand there looking pretty and stuff people are just gonna flood you with money it doesn't work that way these guys go in there because they're trying to have a good time they're trying to um, relate to you they're trying to connect with you while there's girls who have surgery boob jobs and ass jobs and stuff and they don't make shit you know why because they don't have a personality to go along with it yeah they might have the looks they might have um, the body and stuff, but they don't have the personality. They don't know how to go up to people. They don't know how to communicate with them So yeah, there's clubs where I've gone to where there's oh my god There's Barbie dolls in there I end up making more money than them because my personality helps me a little bit Like I said, I don't have the best personality either But I feel like I am open to these customers that go in and I want them to have a good time Yeah, looks aren't everything personality is above all another misconception is dance skills you do not necessarily have to have dance skills. Of course, there's going to be clubs that require you to know dancing skills. You know, those are the little higher end clubs. You know, they want to see that you're actually a professional stripper. But at the local clubs, you know, like there's other clubs, you don't necessarily need to know how to dance. As long as you move around sexy, you know, like, and you're feeling yourself and stuff, you know, like, and you're attracting the customers, that's all they want. Everything I learned at the strip club, how to climb a pole, how to slide down a pole, I learned from girls in the club. And that's the only type of dance I know how to do. Um, at the beginning, obviously, I felt more amateur, which I was. But as I went on, I felt the confidence. I felt the love for myself. I started learning more. But you don't necessarily need to know like how to be an outstanding pole dancer or something. You know what I mean? That's why I always suggest to the newbies that you guys learn like try to look for YouTube videos, you know, or get in front of the mirror and look what works and what doesn't work for you, you know, or ask friends, hey, you know, can you come over and let me know if I'm doing this move right or something or ask them for help, you know, like if they know how to dance, ask them for moves. Yeah, so that's another big misconception. I also feel that a lot of people think that strippers are dumb and ditzy and featherheaded and stuff, which I feel like in a certain extent it's true but most of it comes with the act you know like I like to act a little ditzy sometimes like oh I don't know what's going on you know like this but I want to make the fantasy more real you know what I mean like I want to flirt with them and kind of like let them in a little bit you know I can't speak for all the dancers but I feel like a lot of the dancers are very level-headed and they know what they want in life um, they have plans for themselves and they're very self-motivated and self-made. Like I said, there's so many walks of life in the strip club that you guys would be amazed. There's girls who are going to college for either their bachelors, their masters, their associates, whatever, you know, but we have a lot of people going to school. We have other dancers who actually have a second job and they have a career for themselves, but they see that they're making more money at the strip club, so they're getting that extra money. A lot of girls are getting out and starting their own business. They know how to talk to people, they know how to sell stuff, so a lot of them um, are very intelligent, like I said, and they're very smart. I always love talking to the dancers, honestly, just because they know different stuff, you know, and I love learning from other people. Sometimes they surprise you with the 
craziest things. <laughs> For those who think that strippers are feather-headed and dumb and stupid and all that, stop judging and think again. Get to know one and then you'll see what's up. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah guys, I feel like those are the biggest misconceptions and I kind of wanted to kind of clear the air out and give you guys my opinion and from my experiences. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what other misconceptions you guys have heard of out there. If you guys are curious about how I make my marriage work with my husband being a stripper, I'm going to link down below a video I made a while back about my stripper married life and stuff. <laughs> I'll also be linking the HuffPost article down below that way you guys can go check it out. If you guys have any comments, questions, or video suggestions, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Love you guys. <laughs>